Hey friends, how's it going? I came back from Singapore last week. I didn't have any time to record anything. I was um, networking most of the time, uh, promoting Edgewonk and meeting a few new potential business partners. And generally I had a great time. I always say uh, Singapore is like the Switzerland of Asia. It's uh, quiet, clean, safe. It's a great place, especially if you have a family or yeah, just want a quiet life in general. And they also have quite uh, beautiful nature, man-made and yeah, nature-made or God-made, whatever you believe in. So anyway, today I want to talk a bit about uh, something which I have seen people doing all over the place and um, it's, it's, not, it's not really their fault that they are doing it but actually a lot of people are are fighting a war against a lot of things including themselves for example um they they turn everything and everyone into their enemy instead of their friend um food sleep free time friends everything is seen in kind of a not positive way anymore by a lot of people and that's kind of worrisome like if you can't enjoy your food anymore because the only thing you can think about is the calories and how fat it will make you um, or how many pesticides are in there or how many rats had to die for that McDonald's chicken burger it's problematic it really is and if you have a bad conscience for sleeping in on sundays or sleeping more than seven hours some days or simply taking a day off sometimes and not working or only working for five hours and this bad conscience it's it's horrible it's really like um eating it it, it eats you up from the inside and when you start thinking like that everything and everyone becomes your enemy um, even friends because they steal your time from your productivity uh, or your mom because she makes a cake and uh, it's quite fat and you constantly have this feeling that you need to be better you need to be more perfect that you can't enjoy anything anymore because let's be honest enjoying most of the things we enjoy are not very um, productive that's just the truth but they are in a pro but they are productive in a sense that they replenish your energy and give you more energy for being productive tomorrow which is the main reason why I only work from 5 a.m. in the morning to 1 or 2 p.m. and then I call it a day done I don't look at my emails anymore nothing but that way I can work every day 7 8 9 hours and if I would work from 5 to 8 I could do that for two or three days and then I would need a week holidays. So that is uh, very counterproductive because life is a marathon, it's not a sprint. You need to manage your resources and if you don't, you will burn out sooner or later. And trust me, <laughs> because we always see those CEOs like Elon Musk and so on working 16 hours a day and blah, blah, blah. I mean, he's certainly working more than 99% of the population, but even he needs a timeout sometimes. Even if it was true, it would be an exception. And let's be honest, don't be arrogant. You are not the exception. You are a human. You need rest. You need to be able to enjoy your food, your free time, your sleep, your time with your friends. And then there are always some weird people like Mark Cuban, for example. He said, um, yeah, I shouldn't have wasted so much time with my friends in the bar. Yeah, of course, you don't need to go drinking every night, but what about one day per week or every two weeks like you are not a machine you are a human you need human connection you need timeouts you need things to do besides work to function and not to become depressed or freak out right and especially as independent traders or entrepreneurs this can very quickly go into the completely wrong direction you know i've been there many times um when i get obsessed with something i i stop doing everything else and i only do that for two or three weeks and completely burn out on it and i mean i make a lot of progress but then i can't look at it for one week or so and 
also in the meanwhile all my other tasks are getting neglected and it's just a it's not a good way of working but that's how i'm structured but on the other hand i also know to listen to my body because i had problems in the past health problems and uh, when i see the signs then i know i have to shift back a few gears and that's totally fine and then i do nothing for a day or two or play video games so take a walk take a hike um, yeah stuff like that and it helps a lot you have to listen to yourself as well yeah but the most important thing the really the lesson of today is don't turn everything and everyone into your enemy especially not uh, yourself yeah because yeah as i said so many people are fighting wars against themselves in terms of i need to work more i need to sleep less i need to eat healthier i need to do more sports i don't have i shouldn't waste so much time blah 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 blah. because the truth is five to six hours of focused deep work per day can help you build an empire and then you really should not feel bad for enjoying the other six hours you have each day doing whatever you want unstructured unorganized time is incredibly important also for creativity if you're working in a creative job then unorganized time can help a lot because your brain is always working in the background and never stops without us even noticing we can only use 10 to 15 percent of our brain consciously and it's constantly working in the background on solutions and new ideas and that only really works when you have when you give it time to space out right take a walk take a hike um, do something where you can basically put your active processes on a lower mode so that your passive processes can keep going and that is also why sleep is so important because sleep is basically hygiene for your brain it cleans out all the trash and helps you save the important events of the day and um, make new connections and so on so anyway enjoy your food enjoy your sleep enjoy your free time enjoy what life has to offer and the thing is always the balance you can only enjoy those things if you also work hard but that working hard should be seen as being extremely focused being extremely efficient effective when it comes to working and not working long hours every day because that is just not what life is all about even if your job is your passion which many people cannot say i can say my job is my passion but even i get tired of it sometimes Um, if you eat rice every day even though you love rice so much um, maybe two or three days you need potatoes then you can go back to rice and you will enjoy it a lot more and you can eat a lot more (laughs) without throwing up as well just my two cents on this topic Uh, i think it's quite important a lot of people get this completely wrong really really wrong from what i see Um, probably because they're influenced from social media and reading books about productivity and all that blah 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 Um, yeah Just don't believe everything you see.